Today is just an absolutely wild day because we're going nuts with pipes and our production and with our very minds because we're finally putting a ticket in the resource sink. It's happening. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time we automated steel and now have our epic steel foundry created, but not complete. Because although we have an incredible design for smelting the steel, processing is still a little mm, And we really have to get alternate recipes to really figure this out. But an even more pressing matter is our power situation. It's so bad. We're taking up about 930-ish megawatts of power. So that's not good. And the only reason why our power grid isn't actually failing is because I had to disconnect the entire top portion of our starter base. So yeah, power is a huge issue right now. And so is transport. So yeah, we kinda have a couple problems right now. So we gotta get moving and grooving and solving them. And the first big one is definitely power. And <laughs> we obviously need power to run our factory, so we need more. And I have been busy, busy, busy. Very busy, busy, busy. So with the Mark II miners and these three coal nodes, we're gonna be able to grab 690 coal per minute from this area, which will provide fuel for 46 generators. And 690 divided by 15 coal per generator equals 46. Which is why we got 46 built over here. And now there's just the one problem. I'm sure you can hear it, but it's the water. So each of these also takes 45 water per minute. So 45 times 46 equals 2,070. That's a lot of water, brother. And we're in a freaking desert, so that doesn't help. But luckily, we are beside an oasis. So we had a little bit, just a little pool of water here to work with. So since we needed 2,070 water per minute, and each of the water extractors gets about 120 water per minute, well, I have built 20 water extractors here. Technically speaking, we only needed 19, but I just wanted an easy number to work with, because now we have to balance all of the water out between all of these. And that's where things get a little spicy spicy. Uh, also, I did all this during a live stream, so remember to follow me on Twitch, where I do this kind of stuff. Anyway, I have left a bit of room here to do some water balancing, and we have to make things work into our perfect ratio we figured out the first time we messed with pipes. And how we did this before is we got three water generators, we have one water generator that goes to its own pipe, and then the one in the middle here splits up between that generator or extractor and this extractor, and its 120 supply of water is split in two so that this pipeline has 180 water per minute in it. So with the three extractors, we have two 180 lines of water, and those perfectly feed the eight cold generators. And now we have to do pretty much the same thing, but with all of these pipes. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna get crazy. Super duper crazy. And I definitely want to keep everything combined into this one little platform here. I want like a tall, just super stack of pipes. I think it'll look really, really cool. It's gonna be the pain in the butt, but hey, aesthetics are everything. And you know what? Just looking at things here, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Yeah, hold up here. In fact, it might be even easy. So you can just have this pipe go to this point. We'll just have the next pipe over here go across from it to here. Okay, and then the middle pipe, we just need to split this one up between the two. So perhaps we could go to about here yeah, then we we'll go up a little bit because we're trying to make a little bit of space for the splitter, or what's it called? Junction, as it's called with pipes. So we have that up there. 
We build another little thing over here. We managed to fit in the junction right in the middle. And then we can fit a junction down here, yes? It's a little close, right? A little close. But pretty much the right idea. Yeah, maybe we can just go like that instead. Goes around. <laughs> it looks really, really weird. But it works! Wow! Wow! And now we just have to do that a couple more times, and GG! Just want to add on this little guy here. <gasps> what? I'm holding the mouse and using the scroll wheel. Um... <sighs> when did this become a thing? Bro! Um, okay, learn something new. That is insano incredible. Complete tangent. Uh, what I actually want to do, though, is just put, like, a support here, though, but... That is so cool! Whoa! There's so many applications to this! <gasps> okay, mind is a reason. That is for a little later, though. Uh, let's just connect that up and figure out what to do from here. Oh my gosh, and I was getting so excited there, but I've missed a huge thing! Huge mistake with this! Ah! These aren't gonna be pipes filled with 120 water each. They're gonna be 240 water each. Because I combined every two water extractors to each of these pipes. Ah, oh, so this won't work. It looks so cool though. Dang it, everything had lined up! Everything was perfect! But it must be destroyed. Okay, so the first design may have been a bust, but A, we learned a lot, and now B, I think I've made an even better design. So the big issue with water, really, is that the coal plants take 45 water per minute. So you have to find a nice number with the water that works with 45. Because before we're working with 180, and 180 divided by 45 is 4, which is really nice. But now I have a new number of 270. So 270 divided by 45 is 6. So now, I've divided up the pipes in such a way that each pipe should have 270 water per minute going into it. And that's just by breaking up one of the 240 pipes into 8 and combining the 30 to the other 240 pipes to make 270 pipes. And each of those 270 pipes divided by 45 is 6. So each of these pipes can go into six coal power plants yeah <laughs> it's it's really complicated it took me like an hour to figure this out but here we are promised land numbers actually right this time all we have to do is plug it in so all of these will probably go over the road i kind of have a platform set up over there for the pipes and it should be okay now we only have eight pipes though and 46 divided by 8 equals, uh, not good, 5.75. And because of that, we're just gonna have to hook up this little extra 240 pipe into like that 0.75 whatever it's supposed to be. Well, it'll fill in the blank kind of thing. <laughs> but for the most part, everything's oof, even and looking good. And definitely the best thing was figuring out that we could do this. Oh my goodness. That is a game changer, it's so nice. Uh, anyway though, I'll get everything hooked up, and then the coal should be pretty easy too. That's just regular splitter and merger load balancing, which we're very, very used to. Okay, yeah, once we figured out that part down there, the rest was pretty dang easy. Just have to pipe it all over, organize it, and off we go. It's very tedious though. <laughs> We broke down everything into these groups of six, so this craziness is all connected together with one pipe. So the one pipe will go in of 270, split up in six, boom, we're good! I just have to repeat this pattern a few times over this way, and then ran into a little problem where we had to move all of the pipes across all of the power generators, because we had ran out of space here, and I didn't want to build the building all the way down. So, these skewed over this way, and they just enter from the other side, and it's all super, super simple. And now, we just have to deal with the coal, which is gonna be as super, super simple. Because what we need to do 
is break down our 270 lines into 15. Which sounds difficult. Sounds difficult. But it's not. Because, uh, guess what? 270 divided by 15 is 18, which is an even number, meaning we can just use splitters to split, 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 and we're done. Super simple. Although one of these 270 lines is actually a 150 line because this power plant is taking 120 coal per minute. So we just have to do a little bit of finagling with that. But like it's it's not going to be a problem. Just bringing everything to where it needs to go. That that is the problem. <laughs> it shouldn't take too long. I'm thinking of just having belts like on the outside now. So we'll have a few Oh yeah. These are here. Okay. Well, still, I don't really want to have the belts in the middle. So we'll still try and have them on the outside. And I'll make something work. It's going to be fine. We're just going to keep building and building and building. It's going to be fantastic. Everybody leave a like. All right, so all the coal belts are in now, too. So we got water, we got coal, we got power, baby. Oh, wait, we don't have the water yet. We have to turn that on right now. But yeah, the coal was like really, really simple. It just takes time. But once we got the numbers with the water down, we're set. By the way, check it out. Looking cool, eh? Looking rad. I like it. Like a cool old support. We have this crazy design down here. And there's this little bit of smoke that's from a drop pod, actually. Just underneath there. But it kind of adds to the aesthetic. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, we have to start tearing in all of these water extractors. We can't turn them all on at once because <laughs> we have 20 here. And they each take up, what was it, like something like 8 megawatts? Yeah, yeah, 20 megawatts. So 20 times 20, that's like 400 megawatts of power. That would... Oh, oh. <laughs> My god, I thought that grid was already done. Uh, yeah, that would probably destroy our grid. So we're just going to take you off, and we'll start running a few here. And then we'll add in more and more and more, and then suddenly, all of them will be on, all of the power will be going, and we'll be very happy. Okay, though, we're moving. We're grooving. I've recognized I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> a minor but terrible mistake. We probably need a couple pumps on these pillars here. Oh, and we can't put them that close together. That's not good. Okay, well, we'll do this. We'll tear them out a little bit. I have no idea how many pumps we even need, actually. So that's a little concerning. We will find out post-haste. All right, well, there we go. Now it's looking a lot more busy. That should just direct the water out that direction. Pumps are working over there. We're getting a little bit of pressure in the pipes. Good. A lot of pressure, actually. Wait, is this working? Seems so. Head lift is 10, 11, 13, 15, <laughs> 16. Oh, we're gonna need more, right? Oh yeah. It's not very happy. More pumps! Oh my god, now things are really getting wild. <laughs> that actually looks incredible. All right, well, the water is definitely moving and grooving now with that much pressure. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Yep, 10.5 head lift each, flow rates meh, and going down. There's only supposed to be like, yeah, a few lines actually working here like this one. So that is totally fine that the others are dropping and or don't even have much pressure. It's just important now that we see some water in some of these pipes here. Meaning some of these guys are gonna start moving and grooving. And if these guys are moving and grooving, so is our power grid. All right, so we're around 2,400. What? That's like 900 power. Oh, a lot of these guys are moving and grooving. All right, this is our chance. We add in more of the water extractors to the system. And we can get more and more and more power. Do we dare? YOLO. Everything activate at once. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> The answer is everything. So we're at, yep, 1300 megawatts used. Don't crash, we should see it trend upwards as the pipes get filled with more and more water. How's the pressure looking up there? 
It's not the best, but it's building. Yeah, like the pipes are moving, or the brackets are moving to the right. It's not showing the pressure is building. Good, 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 except for with that middle one. Uh-oh, not good, good, good. Is the power not connected there? Did I goof? No. Yes. Is there just no water here? No, there's water just down here. Is it an issue with over here? Is there just not enough water supplying? No, it should be good. This is moving. Yeah, flow rate's looking all right. In fact, it's building. You know what? Probably after a little bit of time, those will activate and go. Maybe the pressure just needs to build up in the pipes because some of these pipes just go so far down the line. That's why those haven't started up yet. So as the pipes fill, the pressure builds, and then those pipes get rocking and rolling. Yeah. And then power, oh that, yeah, exactly. Exactly, there we go. The power is trending up. We're getting around 3,300 right now. Excellent. And our total power supply should end up at 4,650 megawatts. Once everything is really moving and grooving. Oh yeah, and check it out, I was right actually. Yeah, the pressure built, now the pipes have the blue. Very good. And there it is. One problem solved. Power is good, probably until fuel. So, let's move on to something a little more fun. And one of the first things we really have to do is make a starter base Mark II. Because still using these Mark I miners here, it's not really good. And we're gonna need tons of copper and iron ore for space elevator parts. So I kinda wanna rip down most of what you see here and get it all organized. It's not gonna be anything that interesting though, so I'll probably just boop it. Like, it's just the same ratios we've used before, except we're just gonna double them. So like double the amount of copper sheets, oh gosh, like triple the amount of wire, double the amount of cable, etc, etc, etc. And that's just so we can make some more assemblers and get our, what are they called? Modular plating? Smart plating, that's it. Our smart plating back up and running. Because we need a horrific amount of them to get to tiers five and six. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But before we start building, we should probably get some alternate recipes here. So I just researched this one. That is garbage. More concrete? Who wants to, what? And then more silica. Okay, that one's decent. That one's hot garbage. Like, why would you waste your quartz on concrete, right? And then this wire one's, it's okay. And you know what, honestly, it's nice to get it out of the way too. But now let's see a number two. Okay, Ooh, okay, this is looking a little bit more spicy. Uh, compacted cold, not super spicy. A little bit more steel though. Hmm, okay, and then Iron and copper ore to make more iron. That can make good use of our impure copper nodes. And then state ores that use steel and keytherium. Mm, yeah, I don't like the keytherium that much. Like we could just use wire. Let's take it though. It might be fun to mess around with later. And a hard drive number three. Okay, okay, that's pretty nice. Wire and a little bit of steel for a rotor. That's cool. I like that. I think I like that a lot. The beacons, garbage. The stitched plates, pretty good. But that rotor one. Oh, that is pretty dang spicy. That'll really help when we start moving on to our main base. Uh, anyway though, I'm gonna dive through a bunch more hard drives and see what we get. Okay, so I got quite a few extra hard drives here and now we are cooking quite the alternate recipes and they're really weird. So this one, casted screws, is pretty dang good. It's 12.5 ingots for 50 screws per minute. So compare that to like one iron rod to 40 screws. It's a little bit more iron, but I think you get more screws. I think it evens out. Regardless, it's pretty good. I like that. I like it a lot. We have the iron wire recipe, which is so sad. Ah. Oh. It's 12.5 iron per minute to get you 22.5 wire per minute. So this was nerfed so, so much before. It was like a one replacement to copper, a one to one. So 15 ingots to like 60 wire or something. Now it's like 12.5 iron 
to 22.5 wire, like, eh, it's not good. If we're desperate, we'll use it, but generally speaking, we're gonna stick to using copper ore. Moving down the list here, I unlocked quartz crystals and silica. I just found some quartz on a live stream and went down the tree a little bit. Nothing much there. And then we have alternate biofuel, or raw materials, I guess they're called here. So wood can be turned into charcoal and biomass into bio coal, which is kind of uh, useless, <laughs> I guess you could say. However, we got a pretty good amount of awesome assembler recipes. My favorite being this one, bolted iron plates. So for 250 screws and 80 iron plates per minute, you get 15 uh, reinforced iron plates per minute. So this is huge, because the default recipe is like this in baby form. Like 60 screws, 30 iron plates for five per minute. Like, brother, brother. This is the big boy one. It'll save us a lot on power too, because we don't have to make, or yeah, we have to make a third of the amount of assemblers now. So that, really, really good. We're gonna use that a lot. We also got the alternate for encased industrial beams. So it just uses pipes instead of the encased beam, or the steel beams? Yeah, uses pipes instead. But yeah, I like this one a lot more. That one we unlocked together, fantastic. Much better than using screws. Oh yeah, I like that one a lot. Copper rotor, which is really weird. It uses the new sheets and screws. So, no deal. And quick wire steer, garbage. And fused wire. Oh yes, this one's kind of... I don't know. Maybe in some weird reality we can use that. This one is the best though. 1k terium and then it uses a bunch of copper. We'll be using that in the future for sure. And cheap silica, just straight up called cheap silica, using the limestone and quartz to make cheap silica. Very straightforward. Oh, and compacted coal, sulfur and coal, bada boom. Anyway though, yeah, with all these alternate recipes, not they're not as good anymore. They really aren't. Like, they're like a bit better of an alternative, but they're not like a game changing alternative. Like especially iron wire, like in previous, uh, patches of the game. Iron wire was totally broken. And also, you could completely write off screws from the entire production chain. So I, I like what they did with the alternate recipes. It's sad, but the game's actually more balanced now. So it is better. Anyway though, with these recipes, we're gonna be able to move, we're gonna be able to groove. In fact, I already did. <laughs> these recipes were so good, just went flying through things. And I had a great idea. Why don't we not destroy our first factory, we leave it, and then we just siphon off the excess material from our miners. So now, this thing is taking like 60 from each of our miners, like 60 ore per minute, and then the 210 for these 270 lines just heads on to the starter base mark two, two, two. It's just everything we did before except now on a larger scale. So more wire, more cables, cables for days, etc, etc, etc. And yeah, with this, I use some of the alternate recipes, specifically the assembler ones. I tried out using this uh, copper rotor, which is, it's okay. I don't think we're gonna use it all the time, but just for this base, it was pretty good. So we got our rotors online now. We have a little bit of a stockpile of copper sheets being made too. Downstairs with the iron, things are pretty similar. We're using that casted screw recipe, so 50 screws per minute. And that works wonders with the new reinforced plate recipe. So we make 50 screws per minute in all of the constructors. These guys need 250, so like easiest thing in the world. And now we're making 30 reinforced plates per minute. So hyper omega spicy. Very, very good time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and we could overclock this? Oh, never even thought about that. Oh my goodness, that is going to be incredible in the late game. Anyway, as we move up the floors here, there's not much else going on. Like that's kind of like the whole cat's pajamas. 
we just go up a bit more wires being made on the floor be uh, beneath and then on the top floor here we are making modular frames so reinforced plates iron rods same one as before but since we can make so many reinforced iron plates with that alternate recipe we have 10 assemblers 10 making 20 modular frames per minute which is like whoa brother it's wild it's very good like I only just finished building all this stuff on a live stream and check this bin out spicy like almost 200 already it's pretty good and by the way I'll build all this stuff with you guys soon dot tm uh, once we get started on our main base because all of this again is just getting torn down there's a few things that are wrong with it like some overflow systems and nonsense so it can be done a lot better as well oh yeah and you probably noticed I cleaned up all of the biofuel setup stuff so that's all gone now we're gonna have to build that again somewhere sometime but not now now <laughs> comes the spicy part I asked you guys in the last video if we could hit 4,000 likes uh, I put a ticket in the resource sink and as the youtubers say you guys just smashed the like button brother smashed it and it's on like a billion quadrillion likes so fine I guess we'll eat <laughs> Jesus I guess we can use one of our 41 tickets to put back in the sink all right fine you want me to waste a ticket so bad I'll do it I'll do it so one ticket to the sink lost to the void goodbye my ticket I worked so hard for you you could be used for a coffee cup or memes or anything else but now it's just gone fix it incorporated does not waste as a reward for your creative input I have been given permission to grant you a gift you can find it in the awesome store I hope you like it it was my first solo project Oh, you guys weren't memeing this whole time. Really? <laughs> what? What was that? I didn't. I, I was just surprised. I was like, wait, why did that pop up? What's going on here? Something new in the awesome shop? What do we got? I think it was a vehicle. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are right. There is a cyber wagon. Well, we have 40 tickets. Let's check it out. This thing better be like godlike. Are those square wheels? You better believe it. We truly are in the future now. This is the the derpiest thing I have ever seen. Does it take fuel? It does take fuel. In momento. <laughs> oh wait, are we at? We're run, Why are we underneath this? Oh, this is dumb. This is dumb. Why did I waste a ticket on? 21 tickets! Oh, why did I waste 21 tickets on this? Oh, what a mistake. Oh. Oh dear. It's not even good. It doesn't even have a horn. Guys, you guys really wanted this? You guys really wanted this. Unbelievable. You know what though? Hold up. Hold up here. How far can we launch it? So we've launched the factory cart quite a bit. Does this thing launch too? <laughs> um. The Cybertruck is the greatest invention of all time. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This isn't a land vehicle. It's a plane. It's a plane. Did you see the- I'm- my mind is like... Blown. We can- we can just fly around the map now. Oh my- oh, oh. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you guys. Thank you so much. This solves like our transport needs forever. I like it just it doesn't nothing makes sense. Just stop questioning it. Just live, breathe, and fly. Do we fly even further this time? I think we did. 
<laughs> that is just the greatest item in the game. Oh, and we don't take damage when we fall. That's what I wanted to check out. Can we control ourselves though? No. No. And we're in the water. Okay. Who cares? That is the greatest. We can just use cyber tra cyber wagons. Cyber wagons to travel the map in the world. We don't even need the hyper tubes, Mr. Bean. We don't even need them. I don't even think they'd be as fast. This is faster than trains. This is faster than anything. The cyber wagon is the future. Ooh, good screenshot. Oh my goodness, and thank you guys for just like smashing that like button in the last video. Uh, I never, never, never would have got the cyber wagon if not for that. This is the greatest thing of all time. You guys were right. You guys were 100% right. Okay, so yeah, we have solved many, many problems today. Power's good, travel's good, item production, fantastic. And you know what, next time, Although we don't actually need them, I really want to mess with the hyper tubes. Uh, however though, that is gonna be all for today. So thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next video. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>